Hi, my name is Larben and I'm at the end of a summer that seems to have lasted forever. Since about May of this year, I've been diving headfirst into the blazing roller coaster cult we call the Burner Community. A collection of hippies that started off at the Burning Man Festival in the Nevada desert in the US, but has since spread out through the world. I've spent a lot of thought around what exactly is it that attracts me to this place, this circle. What, what's special about it? It's really hard to put a finger on, but the process, the thought process brought me to a realization about life in general and about human nature. It's complicated, of course, but you could sum it up in one of the principles of Burning Man, the last one that is listed on the website. The immediacy principle. In life and in relationships, I often walk around with a lot of little stones in my shoes. Maybe it's my daily routine and I'm on my way to work or school, and I'm on the train and I meet someone there who I know, and it's suddenly a huge hassle because now I have to use my brain and talk to them instead of just running an autopilot like I'm usually allowed to do until I get where I'm going. Or maybe I'm talking to someone who I'm worried will not like me. Maybe I have some opinion that I know they don't agree with, so I'm trying to hide that in the conversation. Or maybe I have a broken computer at home that I need to fix, and an essay to write, and a part-time job to get to. And maybe I'm just thinking about that instead of actually talking to the person in front of me. Or maybe I'm just hanging out with my parents and realizing that everything that I feel strongly about is stuff that is typical for my age. And they're almost 40 years older than me and have none of the same passions or problems, but a whole host of other ones. What I'm saying is that in normal life, it's very, very hard to really connect with people. There's all this other fuzz going around in our minds, this inner space that we live a large part of our life in. Very little of that stuff is communicated to the person we're talking to, largely because they think we're less aware of it than of the things out here in outer space that we can see and touch. So we try to socialize, but only a small part of our perception is actually with the other person. The rest of us is held up elsewhere, and we often don't even really realize it or notice it very much. For me, this often leads to feeling unsatisfied, and sometimes life itself leaves a bad aftertaste. That's where immediacy comes in. Immediacy is about living in the moment, which sounds like a cliché, but it's really the remedy to that bad taste of life. You intentionally shut down those sprawling thoughts and worries from the back of your mind, usually by focusing on a strong sensation that you can share with others. And you end up in the blissful state of feeling the same thing at the same time as somebody else. That's the big key here, feeling the same thing at the same time as another person. In those moments, more than any other time, I truly feel that I'm not alone in the universe, and that the differences between us aren't that big after all. I feel like a part of the cosmos, a part that is no less important than anybody else, or any other part. I feel accepted and appreciated, like my existence is a good influence on the world. Now, I don't think you can walk around with an immediate state of mind all the time, and that probably wouldn't be desirable, but I think we badly need this in our lives in one way or the other. Also, it's not exactly easy to do, especially if you're not used to it. You need a strong sensation to sink your minds. You can do it with sex, and you can do it with drugs, and you can in fact do it with rock and roll. You can do it by dancing, you can do it by humming and music jamming together, and you can also do it by cooking together, or working together. You can watch movies, or paintings, or performance art, and you can even do it by fighting. I believe that this is the basis of trench friendships. You know how soldiers in war feel that they get a stronger connection with their brothers in arms than they ever get with anybody else in their lives. Also, I'm not a sports fan, but this has made me feel like I can understand them too, even the hooligans. To me, it might seem stupid to get so worked up about which team wins a game, but to them this might be the only time that it's acceptable for them to feel strong feelings together with other people. When their own team scores and the room erupts in cheering, even when things go bad and the feeling turns negative, it's still a shared experience, 
which was the whole point all along. Everybody knows that we are social animals, but I think we need to go deeper into each other than we usually do. And that's what I've been doing this summer. My friend Joachim added that it makes sense from an evolutionary perspective that we enjoy these things. On the plains of Africa where we evolved, communication was vital both for survival in the environment, because we hunted in packs, but also for social survival. If you can form strong bonds with the people around you, then your place in the group is cemented and you don't need to fear being outcast. So of course this stuff feels good for us.